back uh, and doing what he did, uh, held on to a couple of really tough catches. Uh, how important has he been, and how important will he be in the end of this season? You know, really challenged Chad to compete on Saturday night. Uh, didn't feel like he had as good a game as, as we would have liked to against Alabama. Tremendous challenge to play against those those types of players that LSU secondary has. And so I think he took it a little personal. He took it as a personal challenge to go out and compete and uh, probably played as fine a game as he's played here at Mississippi State. Just outstanding in all areas. All the year he's kind of been able to step up in, in most of the bigger games. It's just not something he'd always done in the past. And what is it about him on those kind of game days? You know, I, I've spent a lot of time talking to Chad about consistency, consistently playing at a high level, playing to a standard that you as an individual set. And it's, it, it's in practice. It carries over into the game. Uh, and I'm really pleased with how Chad Bumpus has played this season. He's become a more physical receiver, and that's something where I really felt like he could, he could improve is, is being a more physical player, going and making the hard, tough catches, blocking the perimeter better, uh, just being a more complete receiver. Him doing that, did you want you guys like Chris Smith and Arcido Clark who have kind of done that pretty well for a while? Well, again, we're a, you know it's our whole group, you know, and 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 we try to have a standard as a group that we're going to play at a very high level consistently, day in and day out. And uh, those three seniors uh, played an outstanding football game Saturday night down in Baton Rouge. They played extremely well. You get to this point in the season, I know the preseason a lot of people are asking and wondering, you know, Joe Morrow and Jamie Allen would be some two big guys. We haven't seen really a lot of them this year. What do you expect out of those guys late in the season, or is it? Uh... You know, they're very, very fortunate that they've got senior leadership because I've always said the best coaches are players. They're not coaches, they're players. And Jamion is learning from a guy, Chad Bumpus, that really does a great job in teaching him how to do things. Jamion's a very talented young guy. His time is going to come, uh, and what he's got to do is just be prepared right now. Uh, if Chad were to go down, he's got to step in and play. Uh, he's really showed some good things. Joe Morrow's another guy who, you know, he just he needs to learn how to play the receiver position. He's extremely raw, uh, but he's got talent. And I'm really looking forward to coaching him in spring practice, really teaching him the fundamentals of wide receiver play. What's the emergence of Robert Johnson meant to this bunch, too? Because he's kind of moved to that group with the seniors. Right, he really has. I'm really pleased with Robert Johnson. Rojo's, uh, you know, he's just blossomed. You know, and I think with Rojo, it was a matter of confidence. It was a matter of him just feeling good about himself. He's as hard a working guy as I have at the wide receiver position. With the ball in his hands, if he doesn't have the ball, he's blocking somebody. And he takes great pride in his work. Uh, he understands work ethic. And uh, I think that's the thing that's really helped him. And, and again, he's made some plays in the game. The other night, first throw to him, he slips on his break point, drops the football. You know, but again, he bounces back and makes a big play after that. You know, and so I think he's got a very bright future. He's the kind of kid you, you thought he would be when you recruited him. You know, I recruited Rojo at Minnesota, and I offered him a scholarship when I was at the University of Minnesota. And, and I really felt like he's this uh, extremely talented and gifted kid, and he's just got to. You know, the thing with all my guys is making them understand you've got to be a student of the game. You've got to study the game. It's 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 another classroom, and, and uh, those guys are buying into that, particularly Rojo, and, and it's showing. 